So here we have a cup made without the, the carrier, with just the Alaskan. And you can see it doesn't go very straight, it follows the this hop cut. So we got a dip right here, and then it comes back up. And then we've got some weeble wobble. And I think some of that is caused by whether I'm pulling it or pushing it, pushing it with my knee, um, then the bending over. So that's, I think it's about two inches a minute or so. But, uh, I don't know, for a rough cut plank, I imagine it'll serve the purpose. But it makes a decent cut. But I think with the carrier it's going to cut a little, cut a little better. And you can look down at there's all sorts of ups and downs. But it does, it does pretty, I mean the finish comes out okay for a, for a chainsaw. And that's about 20 inches of, of width right there. You can see there's like these these points here every time there's a big gouge like this that's where I change from pushing to pulling you can see there's looks like there's some undulation here like where it started to climb I think I was pushing with my leg there and then I realized it was climbing so I changed position and I pulled it down so yeah, it takes a little bit of guidance to... It's not a fully automatic flow, but, you know, for a couple pieces of steel welded together, it does a lot better job than just cutting it freehand.